Hey there, so I thought I'd just do a quick video on how to adjust the camera angle uh, on the Emacs Tiny Hawk. Uh, it's a great little drone, uh, or quad, but the um, problem is, or what, not necessarily a problem, depends on how you look at it, the camera angle is fixed fairly low. Now, that's because it's designed to mostly fly indoors, um, but you know, if you want to take it outdoors and, you know, get a bit more speed while achieving, you know, the... Uh, uh, you know, a level horizon, then the camera angles, I mean, it's okay, but could be a bit better. Um, this is a real quick and dirty way of doing it, <laughs> but, you know, it works. It takes a couple of minutes to adjust it in, a couple of minutes to adjust it back, so there's nothing, um, you know, it's not, a, it's not a permanent fix. So, um, the first thing you need to do is, uh, let me just see if we can adjust the focus a minute. Uh, so the first thing, uh, the first thing you need to do is pop the actual camera out. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but basically at the bottom uh, on the camera board, there's a small tab that fits into a, a, a slot in the bottom of this plastic housing here, and again at the top, uh, another small tab in there. Now, there's two ways of getting the camera out. <laughs> The quickest and the easiest way, the one I find the easiest to do, is basically just to crash it into something. Uh, I've done a few of those and the camera's always popping out. Uh, however, if you're a better pilot than I am, you might need to uh, pull it out yourself. So the best way to do uh, is you basically pinch the top. And as you can see, if you pinch, it just raises the tab up slightly. And if you can pinch the top, and you can push the camera down and then push it forwards you need a little bit of force but eventually it pops out and uh, that's pretty much it now the camera you know is loose and wobbly so we can uh, muck it around as we like now if you have a look at the back here there uh, there you should be able to see the tab that we've just popped out of the top um, the best thing I found to do is if you flip it back in also what you may find is the tab at the bottom of the camera uh, it also comes loose so you try and wiggle it around it takes a little bit of wiggling uh, if you get that back in there's a little hole which it should fit into normally if you can fit the bottom bit back into there um, back into there and keep the top out of its tab and that's generally the ideal place I found anyway so there I've got it back in there however the top and the back is still loose now that's great now if you have a look now the camera angle is much higher you were talking it's probably about 45 degrees which you know, maybe a bit too much for some people, but you know, it's either 45 or <laughs> 20, 25, which is this kind of normal set. Um, you can probably fiddle around with it a bit more to get sort of 30, 35, which would be my preference. But um, at the moment, I'm stuck with 45. Now, like I said, quick and dirty, the easy way to do it. Um, if you can just get yourself a small bit of foam. Um, it's about you know three quarters of a centimeter thick. Cut it lengthways to about a centimeter, and then cut a uh, two centimeters or so long, and then cut that in half. You have these two little sponges, and basically, best thing to do then is at the front, or actually go with the back first. It generally works out a bit better. If you just slot it in. Uh, pull the camera the camera back and then you want to squeeze it up and just slot it in above the camera tab and the body and then if you get a small screwdriver or 
anything pokey and just literally just squeeze it and push it in be careful you don't push too hard obviously you don't want to be uh, poking any too much circuits but isn't too much there you should be able to get into trouble with and that's in nicely now actually that alone is pretty firm it's not going anywhere um, but just for completeness sake just do the same at the bottom of the camera there this one goes in a little bit easier and just you know poke it in and make sure it's fairly comfy again don't poke anything too hard just get it nice and snug in there it should just squish in if you've got a small pair of scissors you can obviously just trim any excess that you may have and there you go quick and dirty I never said it was pretty it's not meant to be the good thing about this is you know if you don't like this or you f make a couple of flights with it you want it back to normal all you do pull one bit out pull the other bit back and then it's a case of re-putting the camera back into its housing again so there I've just popped the tab out the bottom by accident so we'll put that back in in the bottom so and if you can see it's quite hard quite fiddly uh, put that in there and then to get the top tab back in again what you do is just pinch the top and if you push the camera down it's kind of hard to do without fingers being in the way but if you pinch the top that just raises the housing and push the camera down there and it's back in again and you've got your 20-25 degree uh, angle back Okay, well, that's it. Uh, maybe you found this useful. Hope you did. Quick and dirty, easy in, easy out. You can do it as much as you like, nice and quickly. If you like it, give us a like. Alright, cheers. Catch you later.